we are here for another university build. Can you believe it? Like, I just, I'm so excited. I love making over university. The Sims 3 is just everything. Okay, I just had to say it. What is up, my loves? How y'all all doing today? Hope you're all having a great day. You know what I would say, honey? If you're not having a great day, get it together. Okay, today, we are here for another university build, all right? By popular demand literally by popular demand like I don't understand <laughs> um, but today yeah I am doing a university build and I feel like I don't know I really really like this one I think it is one of my favorites definitely next to the Bolorama which unfortunately you guys didn't get to see but I just love it so today we are renovating the coffee shop in the Sims university and I'm so excited it is called the roasted beans coffee shop we all know this okay we know what it's called all right I don't even need to it's okay anyways so yeah that is what I am making over today and I am super 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 excited all right because I don't know I just really like this lot a lot and I feel like it did kind of give the coffee shop a little bit more zest because I'm not gonna lie the coffee shop in the Sims 3 University like when the game first came out and I first got it and got to play like it was everything like that coffee shop was just iconic but now looking back at it you know after seeing it a couple times I'm like we just need to zoo shit up with a little bit you know we just need a little bit more things for our Sims to do whenever they go to this coffee shop and they visit and they hang out and I do have like per usual with my university bills I will have a CC list and also um, the Sims 3 pack file and package file and all that stuff so y'all can go ahead and download it and do all that beautiful stuff so yeah I'm super excited I also didn't really use a lot of C like, most of the CC was all couches and stuff like that and then even the wood that I use on the outside I don't think is CC so you can still kind of be able to enjoy the lot and not really have custom content or download the custom content even though even though it does come with the lot but so I guess technically you know what I should just be quiet sometimes I should just not talk because I don't know what I'm talking about y'all it's also very early in the morning I am like you can hear my voice is very croaky I get off of work usually at like 11 so I don't actually get to bed till like 1 in the morning and I woke up at 5 today so I'm just my brain is just not it's not there today she's not there she's gone she did she, she just I need to take a nap I think that's what it is but anyways um yeah so we are working on the balcony area right now I really really like this balcony I tried to do the same thing that I did with the grotto because I really wanted a nice area where the students could kind of just sit and watch the sunset or they could sit and just you know hang out with friends enjoy some drinks do that kind of stuff and you know it just kind of gives a very chill and relaxed vibe for anybody that does visit the coffee shop also a lot of the posters are custom content just because I needed something that was very coffee shop friendly because when you go to a coffee shop they have menus and things like that so I really did want to add something like that to it you can kind of see that I went with the same style that I did with um, all of the other lots really except for Keats comics I feel like there's definitely a consistency in the builds in university um, they kind of go for the same style a little bit and I don't know I just wanted things to be a little bit consistent but still very different so like even the outdoor seating is very similar to the grotto and the coffee on the outside is very very similar to the grotto so I don't know I don't know but I think it kind of you know it kind of worked out it kind of fit a little bit but I am now adding in this little palm tree. Speaking of which, how has you guys' week been? How have y'all been? What's the tea? What's going on in your life? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, I know things have just been... So, I'm going to tell you guys a funny and embarrassing story. Just to kind of make you giggle. Maybe it won't even make you smile. I don't know. But I'm going to tell it. Because I feel like it's funny. Alright? And I just want to, you know, share one of my embarrassing moments from school. And I feel like, you know, it'll, it'll get us a little chuckle, a little laugh. Give us, you know, spare a little bit of time in this video. Because, of course, this video is long. Okay? And since I ain't going to be talking forever. Okay, yes, I am. But anyways. So let's talk about middle school okay middle school to me if you don't know what middle school is if you live in other countries uh it's basically like 
what age would it be in middle school? I don't even know. My sister, uh, she's 14, so she's going to high school. So maybe like 12, 13, 11, th those kind of age ranges. Anyways, so I had a crush on this boy, real cute or whatever, and uh, I was on the school bus and you know doing my thing and then I was about to get off the bus and he just so happened to be right behind me and like I'm not gonna lie those school bus stairs are kind of high up like for a clumsy girl like me that just sounds like a recipe for disaster well it was a recipe for disaster because I felt flat on my face on the concrete and my binder and my books fell and he was like oh my gosh are you okay and I couldn't even look back I just grabbed my books and I ran <laughs> I ran for dear life because no no there was no way and every time I saw him I ran and what he wasn't gonna say a thing no I was kidding <laughs> um but yeah it was just a mess I thought I'd just share that story because I I thought about it this this morning and I was like I cannot believe that happened to me because last night my best friend was telling me an embarrassing story that happened to her and um it was hilarious I like cracked up forever and she's like I'm gonna take that to the grave because it was just so embarrassing mine wasn't nearly as embarrassing as hers but still so I can't really share because you know she's gonna get on me she's gonna be like girl why'd you share that embarrassing story with people like why would you do that um but yeah so let me know if y'all have any embarrassing stories from like when you were younger if you did anything that was like you know, you just like regretted it. One time in high school, I wore my shirt inside out the whole day. I don't, okay, don't judge me. It was like a black shirt and honestly, you wouldn't have been able to tell unless you were looking really, really close. And I remember I was just like super, super late to school and I was like, oh my God, I just gotta, you know, get my clothes on, whatever. So at the end of the day, the very, very end of the day, one of my really close friends was sitting next to me and she was like, is your shirt inside out? And I like looked down and I was like, oh no, that's just the design. Knowing dang well that my shirt was inside out. And I didn't notice until she said something. And I was like, oh no, you know, what are you talking about? No, that's just the design of the shirt. Um, but it was so embarrassing. Like, just why, why, why? Um, the whole day and like nobody see that that just shows you how dirty high schoolers will do you like in high school nobody ever told me about anything it, like your best friend could sit right next to you and you'd have a little green in your teeth and they'd just be like uh-huh yeah that's interesting no now as an adult I'm like uh you have something in your teeth <laughs> but like in high school you kind of like felt like you were being a jerk if you said something and they would literally just let me go the whole or they just didn't notice like all my friends when I went back and was like why didn't you tell me they're like honestly I did not even notice what oh my gosh what it just crazy uh, my friends have so many stories of that of them like going to school and like their eyebrows messed up and nobody told them or like they had lipstick on the side of their face and oh I just didn't notice why do we do that I don't I don't know um, I've just never been that person either to just notice things and like say something I will probably let my friend go the whole day with something and just be like oh yeah I didn't even see it you know so I can't even talk I guess I get it. I, I gave my friends a pass because I would have done the same thing. But anyways, um, so right now I'm working on the top part. I kind of wanted to go for an orange theme. Speaking of high school, my the colors of my high school were actually orange and white. And orange and white is just a very, very like prevalent color in where I live. Like it's just our college color. Like it's everything. I also use green too and I don't understand why I keep using my two least favorite colors like I just don't get it maybe I secretly do have a love for these colors and I'm just being shady but I feel like lately I've really been into orange I just I I don't know I don't know I really like this specific color of orange and I feel like I don't know the coffee shop in the sims 3 is just not vibrant enough like it just doesn't give me very nice vibes and i kind of had a story behind it of like a past college grad 
graduate from university, um, basically taking over the shop and owning it as he got more money and then deciding that he wanted to renovate it and change it into something special. And that's kind of where this whole lot was renovated and made to be more of a fun space for students and a beautiful place for students. I don't know, I feel like my university students definitely deserve it. I wanted a nice lot that they could just enjoy, have fun, they could just, you know, do their thing. Also, your Sims can order food from here. I kind of, when I did it in my own personal gameplay, stuck to very realistic university type food. So like pizza, mozzarella sticks that they have, I don't remember. You know, those type of things to just kind of keep it more in the realism aspect because unfortunately the menus in The Sims 3 are like super, super fancy. And I didn't have any very like casual menus. So it kind of did look a little bourgeois, but I think I think it turned out a little bit. I wish I had different menus. I really, really do because it would look so much better if I had different menus for my Sims to be able to order stuff. I just kind of wanted to not only add a coffee station, but also a place where my Sim could have a full on meal because a lot of the time in universities, at least in the college that I go to, college, university, and the college that I go to, because I go to college, I will be going to university. Anyways, so the college I go to, um, they do serve food so I feel like it'd be really nice to have an area where um, you can get regular food like pizza and salad things like that I actually don't think that my campus has a coffee shop necessarily it's more of just like a student store and then you can get coffee there and you can get food and you can also you know like get books and all that but I I don't know so I feel like realistically I don't know if universities even have do they have coffee shops I don't know I don't know okay I haven't been to one yet I'll be going soon but I just I need to know anyways I know my high school actually my high school had a coffee shop in it and it was pretty cute like I'm not even gonna lie that was my favorite part of high school because I hated every other part of high school love the coffee shop iconic anyways so I am just moving the tables around. Now I use these tables a lot and I was a little bit worried about how they were gonna look in the burnt orange color, but I think it kind of turned out. Also, there's a lot of footage that I did not include in this video just because I was, listen, I was watching Investigation Discovery and Law and & Order. Y'all know how I do, okay? I, I love to watch that while I'm building. And there was just a lot of like me not actually you know, a lot of long pauses, a lot of not cute stuff. So some parts of the actual coffee shop you may not see in the final product. So I went ahead and just, you know, added as much pictures as I could so you guys can see the full look of everything. But I really love this lot. My Sims have actually already started using it and they've really been enjoying it. I feel like since I decorate, maybe that's just me being a little bit, you know, a little bit confident I don't know but since I have been since I've renovated all the lots I feel like sims have been more active in there but I think that does have a large part to do with the fact that there's more to do like definitely in this coffee shop you literally can just get coffee there's nothing really super super fun so now that there's more things for our sims to do i feel like it'll be more active just like with the because the ball bol is like always lit but like the grotto i feel like i have had way more sims in that specific lot because there's a bar there's you know so many different things for the sims to be able to do that it just attracts more sims so it really does make your lots a lot more populated and i think I don't know, I've been feeling that way with a lot of Sims 3 lots that maybe they're not as populated because there's not as much to do. I've been thinking that, maybe, because I've been playing with a lot of worlds lately that I'll like renovate a lot and just add more items and stuff. Even with the festivals, if I add more stuff, I just like the Sims just pop up and they like, hey girl, you know? So I don't know if it's just. I don't know. I don't know if it's the actual game itself or if it's just The Sims genuinely. Maybe I'm just thinking that The Sims 3 is that advanced and like that just iconic. But I, I really want to know. I know I want to know the tea, but it seems that way because it seems like since I furnished the grotto and added more things that the lot has just been so much more populated and I've been playing with University for a good solid couple of months now because of Cade and... Um, 
Kate and Janelle. So we've been in university for a long time since. And then even with the Royals, um, I actually, did I renovate? No, I didn't renovate them. Um, but even with the Royals too though, I would add like little things into the university lots just to kind of make it more interesting. And I felt like the Sims were like, hey girl, ooh, you got a basketball hoop? I will be there, okay? But I'm hoping to see that this lot will be a lot more populated as well if there is more items and more things to do. And I'm hoping for that. But it also could just be university you know because it is a university i don't know i just see a difference maybe that's just me but anyways um let me know how you guys feel like if you ever furnish a lot in the sims 3 do you feel like there there is like more active sims in your lot whenever you furnish it and add more stuff or do you feel like it's the exact same but right now I'm working on the dining area and the seating area with the podium and stuff like that. I did end up keeping the podium because I still wanted to keep the original thought of what the Sims team had was the just kind of chill vibe with the eatery area, not the eatery area, oh my god, the coffee shop and all that stuff and then also the podium being there and being able to sit and watch whoever is speaking on the podium. I still wanted to keep that so I was like, you know what? You know what we'll just keep the same design kind of but just you know zoosh it up a little bit so it really has been just like you know just zooshed up you know it's like it's like somebody came up here and was just like we just go we just gonna yeah i'm almost done here this video stuff. was actually a lot shorter than my usual university build videos i feel like i wanted to kind of well also i had to cut out a lot of me being a crazy person and just you know piles in and and watch an investigation discovery like i just I just can't do it. I cannot watch TV and film videos because I will literally be paused and not even be paying attention to the build. Sometimes I will see some kind of thing that I did and I'm like, what? I was not even paying attention. Like, how does this even happen? I just, I don't even. I also did kind of keep the bathrooms the same because I just, I don't know. I feel like there wasn't really a need to superly decorate the bathrooms and make them all decked out. I feel like I really did think I don't know it was fine the way that it was the bathrooms actually weren't that bad I wasn't really too bothered with them and I feel like I didn't really have to do much as far as that goes I really just wanted to add more into the actual space because I feel like the Sims team really did not add like enough stuff to do in this lot it's just literally seating and that's it and I'm like girl we need some zwoosh we need some uh, some arcade machines some something some something but also i understand like i get it um but i really now that all these things have come out for the sims 3 since university came out i feel like we can do shit <laughs> and we can make it fun for our sims after you've played the sims 3 for so many years you've been to university a million times like you're just like i need something new and i don't know i just really think it worked out and I'm excited because I think I'm gonna take these lots and for the future if I do use university just add these in just to kind of give it something a little different every time I see university and not look at the same thing but I really do love all of the university lots and university is actually one of my favorite Sims expansions like it is just amazing I loved the Sims 3 university when it came that came out I was obsessed with it and just doing I don't know, just everything about it. I love the Sims in university, like Ashley Carano, amazing. Jeffrey Dean can get it. I just love all the Sims from universe, all the townies, everything, iconic. We love them. Waverly Chin, amazing, <laughs> everything. I should do a series where I like reno or renovate, make over all of the townie Sims in university, because that would be really fun. I really, really, really want to make over Jeffrey Dean. Like he is the bad boy of the sims 3 well maybe not yeah there's there's other bad boys of the sims 3 but i think he's definitely up there i feel like jeffrey dean deserves his spot i don't know i i love jeffrey dean anyways <laughs> um he is definitely one of my fave sims but um yeah right now i am fixing up the bathroom i really only changed the wallpaper because i did want that to be consistent because it really bothered me that the two wallpapers were different but other than that i kept the bathroom the exact same i also did kind of keep the outside seating the same too since it is university i still wanted to keep it kind of more genuine and chill and then last but not least i added a claw machine on the outside and i think it looks so cute back there but anyways you guys let me know in the comments down below what you think
think of this university build and if you will be using it in your personal gameplay and if you do please feel free to send me photos on my instagram my twitter my tumblr wherever my email i don't care i just want to see i'm nosy send me some pictures i need pictures even if it's not of the university renovation i don't even care just send me pictures now that sounds really weird <laughs> me saying that send me sims pictures screenshots of your family you know give me a little description a little story a little backstory tell me the tea okay anyways y'all i love you all so very much and i hope you all have a great rest of your day and i will see you all very soon with another new video bye guys